What is up guys, it's Teach, and welcome back to your ninth video on JavaScript, and you guys are all awesome for making it this far, so might as well keep on going and learn JavaScript so you guys can all become legends in the art of JavaScript. Alright, so in this video, I want to talk about comparison operators, and that's this little thing right here, this little less than sign that goes in between our parentheses, which pretty much sets up our argument and there's more than one of these there's actually a few there's the less than obviously this would be the greater than and we talked about the equals when we want to compare two variables two or more variables uh, to each other and we use one variable when we want to give a variable a value but for two it's when we want to compare something or compare variables and what else is there there is there's the greater than equals, and you can't do it backwards. You can't do it equals greater than. You got to do it. You got to start with a little caret or whatever you want to call it. So that'd be greater than or equal to Frank Zappa. So we could set this up where the clash is equal because it's greater than or equal to Frank Zappa. So when we reload our browser, this is true should pop up. There it is. This is true. Okay, so it's working so far. Or you could do less than, and the clash is less than or equal to Frank Zappa, which is true as well because it's equal to it, and it should reload. But the one I want to focus on the most is the comparison operator with the exclamation point, and this stands for not equal to. So what it's saying, it's saying the clash is not equal to Frank Zappa and let's go ahead and reload it and that is not true because it is equal to Frank Zappa so if we set up the clash equal to I don't know any other number besides 75 we'll do negative 500 now it's true because the clash is not equal to Frank Zappa so this is going to populate in our browser and let's reload it there it goes so this is true so we're going to be using a lot of this right here, the exclamation point with the equal sign, is not equal, is what pretty much the description for it is. This is not equal. We're going to use this with um, the variable null, because we're going to check to see if something does not have a value. And then if it does, we'll go ahead and run if else statements. But that's pretty much it for comparison operators. It's just greater than, less than, greater than, or equal to, or less than, or equal to or the exclamation point right here, which is not equal, is not equal. So obviously, negative 500 is not equal to 75. So this would be true, because it's sure enough not equal. So you're really just testing to see if it's the same exact thing. So this would mean it would be equal, as long as I get rid of this minus sign right there. And now our else statement, which is pretty much our false statement, would execute, because this is not true. So hopefully this made sense to you guys. Let me know if you guys still have any more questions. Again, I always love the feedback, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.